In today's video, I want to highlight how you can get a free Sekiro Shadows Die Twice launch dynamic theme. It's available right now on the PlayStation Store. A lot of you guys are playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, so why not customize your PlayStation 4 to celebrate the launch of that game? It's a pretty dope dynamic theme as well, and it's available absolutely free. On top of that, we've got news on several Japanese PlayStation 4 titles. Persona 5 R News is supposed to be coming out tomorrow. Zonky Zero Last Beginning is getting a PlayStation 4 demo, a brand new action RPG has been announced from Spike Chunsoft, and that is called Chris Star. That'll be hitting the PS4 on August 27th, and we've got a release date for AI, the Seminium Files, and that's a hotly anticipated game as well. So if you guys are into Japanese games, a lot of titles to be on the lookout for. So we'll get to those games as well. First off, everybody's playing Sekiro Shadows Die twice. It seems like the reviews have come out and they are looking very strong. Currently, I believe the game is at an 89 or 90 on Metacritic. It was up to a 92, fell down a little bit, but still at an 89, that's still a very respectable score. It might be a 90, fluctuating a little bit as more of the reviews are posted. But if you want to customize your PlayStation 4 for free to celebrate the launch of Sekiro Shadows Die twice, you can do so with a free dynamic system theme. We'll leave a link in the description box down below where you can add it to your library and then you'll have the dynamic theme forever. It's a pretty sick theme as you see the main character of Sekiro in the background with the logo and then you also see Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. You got a pretty cool background in there as well and again if it was available for a price I would say hey why pick up a dynamic theme but considering it's absolutely free definitely at the very least add it to your library even if you don't have Sekiro yet or you don't plan on picking it up until it's on sale for whatever reason you might as well just add the dynamic theme to your library and if you're not going to activate it right away, maybe down the line you'll play Sekiro and you'll think it was such a good game and you want to customize your PlayStation 4 forever. And then you'll have this dynamic theme ready to go. So again, link for that in the description box down below. Next up, it looks like we're finally going to be getting more news about Persona 5R. It's something that's been rumored upon on what this could be. I've been speculating that it's an enhanced version of Persona 5, much like Persona 3 FES and much like Persona 4 Golden. Well, it has been confirmed that Persona 5R news is dropping tomorrow. New information about the December 28 announced Persona 5 R will be announced on March 23rd following the Persona 5 The Animation Stars and R's broadcast. That is the finale to the Persona 5 anime and Atlas has confirmed the news. Persona 5 The Animation Stars and R's will air on March 23rd from 20 to 21 o'clock JST on a variety of different networks and I imagine that the news will come shortly thereafter. As far as what Persona 5 R could be, again, I'm speculating that it's an enhanced version of Persona 5. Many are just speculating maybe it's a reworked version of the game without much much new content. I could see an enhanced version and I could also see the announcement of a Nintendo Switch version, maybe a PC version as well as Atlas has been releasing more of their games on PC with Catherine coming to PC. That makes a lot of sense, but I would imagine whatever Persona 5 R is, it will be coming to the PlayStation 4 as well and it's probably going to be the main platform that it's released on, especially over in Japan. Again, more news on Persona 5 R will be dropping tomorrow after the Persona 5 The Animation broadcast. The anime is okay if you guys are interested in that. Honestly, I would rather recommend you guys to play the game as you are going to get the best experience of Persona 5 that way, but nonetheless the best experience is probably going to come with whatever Persona 5 R is and the version of the game that is. Also, speaking of Persona 5, if you want to check out the base game, Persona 5 will be hitting the PlayStation Hits lineup of titles, meaning that it will be dropping down to just $19.99 for its base price. Even more so than that, what it means is when Persona 5 does go on sale, it's going to be considerably cheaper. Persona 5 has been one of those games that rightfully so has held up in value, even being really release what back in april of 2017 readily it'll be going for 25 dollars on sale if you're not picking it up on sale it's like 40 or 50 dollars it's an absurd price given how old it is however persona 5 is such an elite caliber of a game that it is easily worth that price persona 5 however will be hitting the playstation hits lineup of games come april 2019 and that makes it join the ranks of playstation 4 exclusives such as uncharted 4 uncharted the nathan drake collection bloodborne ratchet and clank is on there and a couple of other titles so that's something to note about persona 5 kind of funny that it's hitting PlayStation hits, but Persona 5 R is coming as well. But now in 2019, it might be a little bit different comparatively speaking to FES and Golden in that Persona 5 R's content could be released as an expansion on top of Persona 5. So that's something to note as well. Again, as we hear more about P5R, I'll let you guys know what 
what's up with that. Next up, we have a couple of announcements coming from Spike Chunsoft. of Zonky Zero. The last beginning is coming April 9th on the PlayStation 4. However, there will be a demo available on March 26th. Now, if you don't know what the game is about, from producer Yoshinori Tarasawa and game designer Takayuki Sugawara, the creators of the Danganronpa series, comes a new type of survival game, Zonky Zero Last Beginning. It has you explore ruins, dungeons, and islands in a post-apocalyptic world through the point of view of eight protagonists fighting for survival while also searching for the meaning in their never-ending cycles of life and death. The story centers around God creating a world in seven days and it only took one for humanity to destroy life as we knew it sank to the depths of sea. Do not yet know this broken world or the reasons for its downfall left behind here, an earth where ruins drift about with remnants of buildings, cars, traffic lights, modern civilization was destroyed becoming nothing more than debris waiting in the sea. Again, Zonky Zero last beginning will be getting a demo on March 26th and the full game is due out on April 9th. Speaking of Spike Chunsoft, they've announced another very interesting game. They will be localizing the action RPG Crystar. Crystar will be coming physically to the PlayStation 4 on August 27th, so not even that far away. What, five months? A little over five months? And the game is an action RPG centering around a girl named Rei and Mirai, her little sister. They're dragged into the afterworld of Purgatory. To save her sister, Rei signs a contract with the demons of Purgatory to fight the monsters infesting their world. Rei and her fellow executors must face their past and confront their tears to overcome the torment and monsters ahead of them. Will Rei save her sister's soul before it's too late? Key features of the game tell fight through your tears in an action RPG combat the souls of the dead as you explore the afterworld of Purgatory. Play as four different main characters and unlock their memories to learn the truth behind their stories and secrets. Power through grief, the battle system includes an otherworldly being who fights alongside you, gather your grief, and endure torments to summon your guardian and tears give you strength. Crying will help you take down monsters and empower your equipment and cry star tears aren't a sign of weakness, rather they are a sign of strength. So if we're talking Talking about Japanese premise of a game, crying to give you strength is about as typical as I would expect. All physical PS4 and digital copies will include the Summer Collection costume add-on, and the Day 1 edition will include a mini art book which features a look at the game's world as illustrated by character designers Ruichi and NTNY. Again, Crystar will be due out August 27th. And lastly, a game that I've been very, very excited for. Another Spike Chunsoft published title, this one also developed by them, is AI The Seminium Files. AI The Seminium Files is being directed by Kotaru Uchikoshi, who also did work on the Zero Escape games. Those games were fantastic story-driven titles. And AI The Seminium Files is his latest game, an adventure game set in a technologically advanced Tokyo in the near future and follows Detective Kaname Date, where victims have had their left eyes gouged out. Date himself has an artificial left eye containing an artificial intelligence unit which he uses when investigating the killings. Sometimes Date meets a key witness or suspect who doesn't want to share information with him. In this case, that turns into the gameplay aspects and you enter their memories in the form of dreamscapes called Seminium to extract the information by solving puzzles. The game also features branching paths leading to multiple different endings. Given who's working on the game, personally speaking, I'm very excited for it and the game will be officially released on July 25th. That was confirmed. Maybe some of you guys aren't as excited for AI The Seminium Files as I am, but if if you've played the Zero Escape titles and you knew how exhilarating, how engaging, how hooking those games were, you have to be excited for this game. And this one does seem to be a little bigger budget. No, it's not of the caliber of the top tier PlayStation 4 titles. But visually speaking, I'm really digging the art style and I really think this could be one of the most surprising games of 2019. Not surprising to me, but surprising to a lot of other gamers that don't really see this one coming. And it being released on July 25th, a perfect time to release a game like this. It's during a quiet period, at least traditionally the summer is is pretty quiet who knows if 2019 will be a little bit different but traditionally july isn't a time period where you see a lot of games released with a game like ai the seminium files being released in that window it can really take all of the gaming headlines and i think it'll get a lot more attention during a month like that as opposed to say being released at a month like this where there are so many games or later in the year in the fall i think it would really get lost in the shuffle but a july release window i think that's perfect for this game and that's gonna conclude this video again you can get a free sekiro shadows die twice launch dynamic theme it looks awesome and it's absolutely free check it out link in the description box below persona 5 r news is coming tomorrow when we know what that game actually is we'll let you guys know and persona 5 is transitioning to a playstation hits title next month zonky zero last beginning is getting a ps4 demo on march 26th five star is a brand new action rpg coming to the ps4 on august 27th and ai the Seminium files will be hitting the ps4 on july 25th that's gonna conclude this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye 
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.